Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about some Minnesota history, and for that matter, muscle car history. We've got a 1962 Biscayne 409 four-speed on the sales floor now. Oh, you're going to want to watch this video to the end for sure. <laughs> Greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we are going to talk about our latest uh, addition to our sales floor here, a 1962 Biscayne 409 four-speed. I mean, this car has such provenance, it's unbelievable. It just has lots and lots of stuff. You're going to want to watch this video all the way to the end for sure because we're going to do a cold start. We're going to do a walk around to give you all the details of this truly remarkable historic car, if you will. Now you can also click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to this car and our website and give you all the pricing and information on the car as well. Plus at your, our website, which is www.ellingsunmotorcars.com, you will see close to and actually over 100 classic and collectible vehicles on our sales floor at all times. I'll tell you what, if there's something here from the 1920s you're looking for or something in the 1970s, odds are Ellingson Motor Cars probably has it sitting right here just waiting for you. But let's get back to this car. To me, this is one of the cars that bring back lots of memories to me because this one I was a kid going to Minnesota Dragways and this car, believe it or not, was one of those class champions, Super Stock B, and it held national records in everything. This is uh, absolutely one of those historic cars in the sense that, of course, 409's first year was 1961, but in 1962, the muscle car war was just starting to begin with the Fords and the Chevys and the Mopars, and boy, that 409 was one of those cars to be contended with. And, and if you were a drag racer, you wanted to use the Biscayne model car because it was a little lighter, it was a little more uh, conducive, if you will, to the drag race world. And this particular car, like I said, has all the nuances that you are looking for. In its original Nassau blue paint, beautiful chrome all the way around, and of course that engine compartment and the details that go with it are just incredible. It has a dealer installed factory tack to the left of the steering column and everything. Uh, I guess what if you were, everyone says, well, this is kind of what they call kind of a poverty car. I mean, didn't have a lot of extras. I mean, it's radio delete, heater delete, clock delete. I mean, they have the little hubcaps with the painted rims, black wall tires. Everything was uh, said it was meant for business. And here's the thing. If you pulled up to a car at a stoplight back in 1962, looked over, seen this little emblem right there. It says 409. You'd go, Oh boy, I've got something to contend with for sure. So yes, take a look at all the details of the under the hood. It is just really absolutely the way this car came. And again, very Spartan for amenities, but you know, you were thinking a, a quarter mile at a time. Now this car has been a body off restored. I mean, every nut, bolt, screw, washer, something's been touched. It's got a little over 800 miles on it since it was done a number of years back, but it is absolutely pristine. Then you go to the interior on this car. I still love the fact they still have vent windows. Look at, no side mirror even. I mean, this was, when they were stripped down, they saved a couple hundred pounds, which really made a lot of difference when you were in the drag race world. I think the numbers that this thing actually shows, we have all the time slips and everything for all the records this car had and whatnot. History from new, just really a remarkable piece of, uh, automotive racing history. Take a look at the interior, like I said, it has the factory uh, chrome tack on the side here of the steering column, the spaghetti shifter four speed on the floor. Uh, again, minimal instrumentation. I mean, these cars were really basic. I think one of the options for this uh, 409 package was a seat belt for the driver. No other seat belts in the car, just the driver. You know, there you go. Something kind of very unusual, not to be found in this day and age. But in 1962, like I said, the muscle car war was just starting. They all had the fawn interior with the cloth and vinyl interior. Nice original, you know, the 
the inexpensive everything about the car was just uh, you know was uh, dealt with to be a pure race car to say the least um, I guess I'm going to say the four speed is just really cool on the floor that is just really really neat and like I said the records on this car incredible now you can find all of our information on Facebook YouTube Instagram and now TikTok as well you know give us a like leave us a comment or subscribe we appreciate it very much and you'll find all the information on this car you'll find information on all our current inventory and as an added bonus actually there's cars that we've sold over the last several years out there as well so if you got time to peruse those websites by all means it's a good way to spend an evening or an afternoon when you have nothing better to do other than look at old car stuff no this is one of those cars that you know just has that provenance history that goes with it uh, like I say we have a I have a really neat three ring binder that shows all that stuff they've got the KDWB uh, uh, award things that it was a participant whatever and like I said it was a super stock B class champion and ET record holder way back in the day so if you're looking for something that has a little provenance boy it is really there and talk about clean I mean obviously this car was never driven in Minnesota winters needless to say it's always been its life spent as a race car I know they were driving it up into the 70s I've seen some of the time slips for that um, but you're like me you know maybe you say I really like your video lots of the cold start sounds great but I need to come and take a look at it by all means come on down to Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers we're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well now you can give me a call at 763-428-7337 and I'll do my best to answer any questions on any of the vehicles that are currently on our inventory I can help you uh, steer you in directions for financing shipping all those things that go with the old car world because we ship cars all over the country and all over the world for that matter so if you're looking for something that you really you know maybe it's your first collector car or maybe it's your 100th and you need one of those uh, historic cars we've got it sitting right here on the sales floor at Ellingson Motor Cars right in Rogers and remember again our website being ellingsonmotorcars.com where you'll see all the newest additions including this one so thank you again for watching our video I'm saying for me this is one of those memory makers because I was at Minnesota Dragways in 1962 to 68 right there I'm sure I seen this car race no ifs ands or buts about it so thank you again and we'll see you next time at Ellingson Motor Cars <laughs>